Ugumba, uh, my wife and my daughter, and many other sympathizers were at the outing church service for his late mother that he buried a few days ago. When some policemen uh, wearing hood walked into the church while the sermon was going on and started shooting everywhere. And when my wife approached one of them to find out what is the reason, uh, they literally pushed push her down, uh, pushed my daughter down, and went straight for him and dragged him out, beating him up from the church, um, took him outside, and I miss gunshots, parodic conscious. Uh, and uh, uh, at, at, at initially, we didn't believe that this could be an act of uh, police because um, to arrest somebody in the church while he's uh, mourning the murder, uh, I didn't believe that that could have to come from the, from the police. And the manner in which he was arrested and the gunshots, uh, only for us to find out from the plate numbers of the vehicle that they were from government house in most states. So our suspicion was confirmed that the most state governor has backed on such an act of hate and misrepresentation and misinformation concerning members of my family. Those who attended Uchengosu's burial, who are honorable members of the Muslim government, were also suspended for attending his Uchengosu's mother's burial. And the same group of men that he used in this, doing this dirty job is the same people that came for my arrest they arrested me some time ago. And who, who threatened at that point to kill me. But shockingly enough, I also had, I had to call the police commissioner of police, uh, who has just recently confirmed to me a few hours ago that the order came from Abuja. So I wondered uh, if this order actually came from the Inspector General of Police. And if it is, I'm sure the Inspector General of Police must have been misinformed. But I'm yet to see what kind of offense Oluche Wonsu Wonsu have committed to warrant this uh, discretion of the church and sporadic shootings that has uh, left a lot of people injured. Uh, and uh, I I want to I, I want to request for the first and last time that security agencies presidency must look into what is happening in uh, Imo State. This I feel as it lets the government of Imo State and members of my family. This family has gone through a lot insult and humiliations and threat to life from the government of Imo State. But I'm yet to understand what must have informed the kind of level of misinformation that must have led the IG to give such directives. Because the IG, I know, couldn't direct any policeman to go to church and shoot and arrest innocent citizens. I, I feel that enough of this is enough. And um, and Opu Zubimba has been in the business of trying to, to 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 get any member of my family or myself involved in, in this kind of his uh, wicked acts of hate hatred. 
of recent, two of my security men, drivers, were arrested and kept one, one by one gentleman. The man who uses the name of state government house uh, called the SAS, SAS 1SP, 1SP somebody. And these two young men had told me horror stories of what they saw. 60 days incarceration in the police SAS. And where they brought people every day and shoot them. Asking them to, they must say that Rochas or any member of his family is involved in the insurgency in the I think they're not for this event. And I've called all people's concern on this matter. And I hate to make this very public, but I'm being tempted to say the facts as they are. If you hear the story of these young men or how people were shot before them, killed. And only for them to tell lies. And only a few days ago, the governor has said he's going to announce by 2nd January those who are behind this security in the United States. I'm sure this must be one of the states he wants to tell. This is him, knowing him, his style of constant lying on daily basis on issues which has resulted to bad governance in the United States. But I don't want the police to get involved. I don't want the APC government led by Buhari to get involved in a matter like this that will punish the image of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The government of Primo State is enough embarrassment to this nation and to democracy and must never be allowed anymore to continue to have its way on some of these wicked acts. Why should police go to the church to arrest people and arrest individual innocent person? What is the story they have written about him? I want to, I want, I'm waiting to hear the story. I can assure you this will be a political motivated and cooked up story now. They are going to come up with. Which will also leave everyone in regret of the lies of this governor. Who knows nothing but crookedness. You know people are, are in, their, in so much pains because of one man. So much insecurity because of one man. Bad government because of one man. And because he feels he has the backing of the federal government or backing of the police or army or SSS who leads him to do all this evil to mankind. I think hope the government must be called to order. He must stop this. This is one arrest too many has led to me and members of my family. There was just no justifiable reason for the police that went into the church to carry on such shooting as that. Even the security attached to my my family could not because they identified the policeman. Why go to the church? Why should I shoot him? Why do you have to drag the innocent boy on the floor? Why do I have to beat him up? Why do I have to push my wife? Why do I have to push my daughter? Why do I have to tear, tear their clothes? This is not what we ask for. But the good news, anyhow, is that I now know that which is in the hands of the police. And, and the police will have to tell the world what which has done to deserve this treatment and why the church was put in disarray because of one arrest of innocent safety. I'm waiting to hear what story that the government was a friend against which I'm, and I'm still waiting for him to make public. I challenge him to make public on second those who are behind IPOC. Or he should accept responsibility as being the person behind the security in Imo State. Enough of this is enough of this in this country. And if somebody of my level in this country, a former governor, a city senator, would go through this kind of humiliation, I wonder what happens to other citizens in Nigeria. This is wrong, and this must be condemned is his entirety. And I'm asking the police now to officially release the offense of Uchemosu and why the arrest in the church. So the world can understand what this family has done wrong or what Uchemosu has done wrong. They should not bring his local politics to bear on the image of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The same way he got me arrested, the same way the, the, he got the police to, uh, to, to get me arrested, I got saved by just one single policeman who advised me to move into the police pickup quickly because the other was to shoot me. And yet nobody said anything about it. He took the intervention of President Mohamed Buhari at that time to, to get my release. But this evil must never be allowed to try anymore. 